Hey, Tanya. Hey, everybody. Welcome to... I want to go live. Come on. They're not going to care. Here we go. They don't Why is this care. not... <clears throat> okay, there we go. All right. Welcome to this episode of the Bill Squire Show. I am your host, Bill Squire, and I am here with uh, AJ DeCosimo. I voted today. I did, too. Uh, Tommy LC. Hello, governor. <laughs> did you vote today? Did you vote? Yes. Okay, yeah. and... Our guest, John no Armstrong. Hello. <laughs> did, did you, you don't have to wait into it. I did not vote today because yes. voting's wrong. I want this. Oh, really? I want this country to sink into fascism faster. I'm sick of the little bit of environment we have left, and I really don't give a fuck. So, yeah. Well, don't hold back, John. Tell us how you really feel <laughs> I, I, about, about our voting wokeism process. Wokeism is getting on my nerves. Wokeism is? Yeah. All I'm right. Just think- because. <laughs> Because I'm, of the I'm, way I'm, things go with this show, now we're live. <laughs> oh, now you we're mother now we're live. Free. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this episode of the Bill Squire Show. I'm your host, Bill Squire. I'm here with AJ DeCosimo. I voted today. Tommy LC. I voted today. And John Armstrong. I did not vote today. But tell him what you is. Tell him the truth. <laughs> I voted Saturday because you, oh. know, you have to be a responsible voter. Yeah. <laughs> And I don't trust anything. <laughs> right. so oh, you, oh, you oh so you're going to mail it in. You got <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's in my pocket. I oh, it's, oh, that's right. <laughs> there you go. That's what we're Mailbox is right across the street. So I figure we'll do this. I'll drop right. it off, you know. I voted via smoke signal. Oh, yeah. Uh, people are requesting some hello loves. Hello, love. Oh, well, let me get the camera on you now. Hello, hello love. Tommy. Hello, love. I don't do it. That's it. Isn't it? You want to do one? I don't. I, do, I can't do it. Isn't it? Excellent. Come on, just give me, give me Isn't it. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, oh, that's all right. That's all right. Hello, that's love. Right. Hello, love. Hello, right. love. So we are here with uh, John Armstrong. He is a Cleveland comedian that is headlining hilarities in a couple days here. Uh, you're going to be there November 11th, the Friday late show only, right? 9.30. 9.30 on Friday, and John is fucking hilarious. So go to hilarities.com right now and get tickets. Uh, a friend of mine sent me a screenshot of him. Buying tickets earlier. Nice. You're, you're moving some. Let's do it. You got some going. He'll be uh, sitting next to my mom and then 400 empty seats. No. No, <laughs> Your no, mom's no, a lovely doing, lady. Yeah. I uh, heard I went out good. a couple times. What's Your that? mom and I. Your mom's a lovely lady. My mother doesn't go out, all right? Uh, that's you not met true. My mother, no, you're right. She stays you came, in. You, <laughs> you, know you what I came mean. to the house, <laughs> you did your shit, and you left. My mother doesn't that's true. do that. That's true. Red just just some shit. over the pants and mouth stuff. Yeah. There you go. Not for, since 83. For, yeah. for, for me and Mrs. Uh, John Armstrong. <laughs> no, my mom likes to keep it in the house, and then that way and it, it's classy. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's right. It doesn't get all weird and shit. That's oh. true. Well, that's exciting. I'm glad that. Uh, I mean, I didn't know. I knew you guys knew each other. I didn't know you guys knew each other. Like Intimately. Yeah. 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 Intimately. I let yeah. him take the car out. Yeah. He's not circumcised. <laughs> that's true. It doesn't taste any different. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're not sucking your dick. That's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's what your mom said. <laughs> right. Hey, Betty. Hey. It's got to have a little bit more of a twin. It's a little tangier. A little tangier, right? Yeah. Even if even if it's it's I pr- it's probably more of a consistency thing than a flavor thing. Is it like a labia fold that gets like the cheese in it? Does it taste oh, the same? As Tommy, that? I, I think you take you this. You know away. when you got like a good roast beef going and then it starts to cream cheese on the side. Cream little, cheese little, on the side, no. A little horsey what? sauce. What? <laughs> Come on, Bill. Do you know what he's talking oh, about? Oh yeah, I know exactly what he's talking Thank about. Thank you. Wait for Tommy to answer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I- Maybe that's not how your pussy works, but mm-hmm. yeah. But wait, what? Well, if you if you do it vigorously, you can you can whip up a ladder. Dicks. Like yeah. <laughs> I don't know shit about uncircumcised dicks. Okay, you never been with an uncircumcised? No. You know, wow. Kind of the old snuff. Are you circumcised, John? Oh yeah. Hell oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You are. <laughs> He oh, circumcised yeah, he women in my culture. Yeah, I, yeah, I've, only, I, I, I've only touched it in the dark, so I, I have never seen it. Uh, I've got quite a Darth Vader helmet. That's pretty prominent. Oh, so. uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like right. the Rick Moranis one. It's like over. <laughs> so, uh, John, you have been. How long have you been doing stand up now? Ten years? I wish, dude. Six and a half. Six and a half. Well, yeah, dude. You seem like someone that's been doing it longer because you're very good at it. You're very. You've always oh, been natural. From like you. the first time I saw you on stage, you you were very comfortable right off the bat. Uh, but you were someone that came late to the. I did. World because I did. Uh, 
Let's play. Uh, how old do you think John is? With oh, this is a bad day because the gray yeah. and then yeah. like in the. And I, Tommy, how old do you think John is? Oh, you I am do, so bad at don't that. Don't do that to a black person. And Ooh. she's go <laughs> over this doing. This my show. I'm doing it. What? <laughs> Wait, hold on. How long have you been doing? Six and a half years. Six and a half years. John looks very comfortable with this game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm so bad at this. I, how old am I? That's, you look my age, 32. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. I know he's not 32. Yeah. I no? Did, I, I, Switch the numbers I, I At one point, I 23? did. 23? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess I didn't get to play the game. I knew you were in your 40s. Yeah. I didn't know that. I knew your exact age at one point, but the years went by and I'm you got older. I'm a Gen Xer. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you 42 or 43? 43. 43. Because yeah. yeah. I remember when I found out how old you were, I was like, oh, damn. Well, okay, so that's the thing. I always, uh, always tell people uh, part of my... I guess cheat code for comedy is I started late mm -hmm. and um, I always wanted to do it. I was just kind of nervous to do it. Like you I always hope it's like telling your parents you want to be an astronaut. It's like they, they give you a little powder. <laughs> yeah, okay. like, That's nice. Now go get See, a fucking job. With me, it was like it was like telling my parents I wanted to be a ventriloquist. <laughs> <laughs> they were just like, That's not a real thing. You just want to fist people. <laughs> right? I just want to sh shove it up there. Right, but fist I get, people and talk through your teeth. Right, but I get <laughs> I, I get my fisting fixed when I go visit your mom. Uh, my mother doesn't get fisted. All right. Yeah, well, that's not. True. She likes a nice triangle. You know yeah. what I mean? Like oh, this, well, this is just. But rude. that's really what it is. That yeah, I was gonna yeah. say I think that's some fisting. People, I mean, Four, I mean the some forearms do. doing all the whole, all the work. Yeah. Really. So it's like, a, just be, like, it's a like an Italian guy just yeah. trying to articulate his point. That is a more like. Like I'm so desensitized to a middle finger, but like if you see someone doing that, like you know they're fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. Than you, and they're probably not originally from here, so like you know they've probably done things to get where they're at. Yeah, so, like they mean it in a way. It's one thing to get kicked in the face with a pair of Jordans; it's another to get kicked kicked with some fucking Stacy Adams or some church shoes or some some mafia dude with some hard ass bottoms. That that stomp that De Niro does in Goodfellas when he's coming down with yeah, the heel. He's just stomping on him. Oh dude, I I'll take a I guy to death. Like to think of the stomp from the Irishman where he's so old and he's trying to stomp oh, on the guy yeah, and it's yeah. just it it completely ruins all the rest <laughs> of his stomping on film. Because like, you're like, why couldn't they just put his First of all, just get a young actor to play that role. <laughs> but even if you're going to use De Niro, have a body double yeah. do that stomp it because it is the worst yeah. part of any movie. It's so bad. It's so cringy. That is one that was on my early pandemic watch list that I have not watched yet. Irishman? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I had to turn off the CGI, the whole thing. Like, It's supposed to be a very good movie, but I couldn't get past... Is it Uncanny Valley shit? Yeah, that's like, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like trying yeah. to watch uh, a gangster version of uh, the Polar Express. Uh, uh, <laughs> that is the creepiest fucking movie of all time. The Polar Express? Yeah. <laughs> really? The one with Tom Hanks? Yeah. Why is that so creepy? Because have you? Because the, the way the animation is. I think it's Yeah, sweet. the animation is I hate creepy. It. I, hate I think that's when a lot of that Uncanny Valley shit started. A lot yeah. of the yeah. references go back to that. They said in the... Uh, his newest one, Pinocchio. They said that one's fucked up too. It's got a very like really yeah Ew. yeah yeah. I mean, Wait, Scorsese did creepy. Pinocchio? No, no it's, it's, <laughs> Tom Hanks plays Geppetto in a new Pinocchio movie. Oh, when did that come out? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hold on, but hold on. Let me let I'm me pause for a second. I want to imagine Scorsese Pinocchio. Damn, that would be Pinocchio sick. dropping in bombs that while they sick. play like <laughs> Rolling Stones in the background. Uh, <laughs> like, it was a fucking damn. funny. That is genius. <laughs> Actually. As long as I can remember, I wanted to be a real boy. Like, <laughs> no, Pinocchio, man. Pinocchio just chest is tattooed. He'd be like, who's a real boy now? Yeah. Are you a real boy? Uh, that, it does get dark with the, what was it, the donkeys or whatever, when the kids turn into, yeah, that shit Do gets I dark. have strings? Whale? Do oh. I have strings that hold this down? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you tell me where you see these strings. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> I almost had them. <laughs> you might fold under questioning. <laughs> and he did. I wish I remember more about Pinocchio. <laughs> That's, more lines. I, th I think you you nailed it. That's about all that you need. To yeah, start. we could really go line for line with Pinocchio right now. Right. That's that's yeah. when we know our two listeners are just like, <laughs> uh, Mom, up, leave me alone. We're we're listening to, to the right best. Now, all right. And Robert said uh, the Chippendale movie on Disney Plus. They make fun of that animation style, which is good because 
That one, that's so that's my favorite. My daughter, Polar Express, is my daughter's favorite movie, and really? it's not the it's the kids that are creepy. Yeah, it's the kids that are like <laughs> like. There's one kid in particular, and he's got this <laughs> weird. I don't know. Kind of, I don't know. I just I Tommy, hate him. Tommy, do you know exactly what he's talking about? Because yeah. I don't know yes, what he's talking. He's so about. I've never seen this movie either. I think they're so fucking gross. Because the whole time you're just like looking at the kid, like. <laughs> and your so daughter gross. likes it though. She loves it because. <laughs> and she doesn't get that like these are she's demon her CGI. Life, yeah. like since she okay. was a little kid. So she's. It's really. Uh, yeah, we know like from practical yeah. effects yeah. to this. All she knows is this right, shit. Exactly. Yeah, she yeah. just. Well, and yeah, we watched she, The Dark Crystal and shit she, like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, like, I showed a lot too. of my those movies to my kids, and they really love, like, Labyrinth, and they love those old <laughs> movies with practical effects. Yeah. But that one just, she's the only one that likes it, so, like, every, you know, Christmas will... <laughs> Like, she'll want to watch it and she'll be like can we watch this and we're like we'll watch that last when everybody's gonna fall asleep oh god nobody yeah. else wants to watch that movie because it's so fucking gross yeah. <laughs> it's that bad it's so gross I've never to seen me. Tommy laugh harder first we'll looking? watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre then we'll watch yeah. that fucking Polar Express I show. find the Polar Express to be delightful I'll watch it <laughs> I'll watch it? it with you. Yeah. Yes, I've seen it. I think it's delightful. I need to, oh ah, it's too creepy. Mm. I don't think it's creepy. Because Zemeckis got really into that style because he also did, <laughs> what was the one he did with, uh, he did Beowulf. And Beowulf yeah. was that same style. Wasn't that the first CGI that they did kind of over people with the... Um... Well, no, I think that was the second. Or I think it was... That was one they came of... out around the same time. Okay, yeah. But I, I think they had even more technology for Beowulf but it's the same style and it's yeah it's like motion capture yeah yeah and it but it but the you said you CGI don't like horror gross. either so I don't this really kind of like makes horror, sense yeah. like, I remember wait, watching what? Beowulf and and waiting for it to vibe. change into regular I'm like, like when does it go fade into the real thing and I'm like I never did yeah. like this is a fucking do cartoon you, yeah. do you like nightmare before christmas I love nightmare before christmas Never that seen one's kind of weird too. What? Okay. You've never seen that? I'm I'm 43 people. <laughs> that shit right, came out when I was it? 39. I'm 40, but I it came it, that no, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas came out when I was 10 or 11. And I was also raised Mormon, so like we were going to Disney movies until I was like 20. Yeah, wasn't that way too like secular and shit? Yeah. Like no, that one was all right. Like I I like I've always liked that movie. Do Mormons have Santa Claus? Yeah. Do they like Santa Claus? I mean, <laughs> They get along with them. Do they think Santa Claus is Mormon? Because, I mean, he's Satan. Do, so do Mormons have saints? No, they don't have saints, but, like... They're... You all have never had this conversation yet. Dude. We're, we're just crossing this bridge Yeah, I just Mormonism. I well, no, well, we did last week. Well, there's a few week. bridges and skips. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's a Questions lot. as they it's, come it's, out, it's, yeah. Because every time we get into Mormon stuff, it goes down such a deep <laughs> hole that you don't even think to ask, do Mormons have Santa Claus? But, yeah, they do Santa Claus. Mm. And it's just kind of like, you know, it, it's no big deal. But they they don't really get into the lore of Santa Claus. They just go, hey, Santa Claus was a good guy, and he's based on this, and now he's here to bring you presents. Oh, okay. So we had we had pretty normal. They don't get lost in the weeds because that'd be ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> I'll tell these bitches to put you to sleep. <laughs> tell your moms to put you to sleep. I'm, I'm actually upset about a thing that's happening with Santa Claus right now. What's that? There is a new commercial where Santa Claus is played by John Hamm. And then there's the movie The Madman dude? Yeah. He's hey, playing Santa Claus. Does he have a is bulge? He like white shit? Yeah, like or is they, it... but he's still hot. He's still like <laughs> Yeah, Santa's not did, supposed to be hot. And and that's the thing. Santa Claus they did the Christmas Chronicles movies with uh Kurt Russell where he plays Santa Claus and he's older but he's still like a good looking guy. He's a he's Kurt yeah, Russell. Yeah. And I don't like them doing that to Santa Claus. Santa Claus was like the one guy I had where I'm like, I can always be Santa Claus. I, I was know. waiting for you to go to Tim Allen too. You were Tim Allen's well, Tim way Allen, too good looking. Tim Allen, they at least fat suited him up. Yeah, yeah. Like when yeah. he was Santa Claus, they put him in the fat suit and everything like that. Yeah. But they didn't do that with John Hamm. John Hamm is just like the zaddy just the Santa sex, Claus. Just the sexiest Santa. Yeah, he's just a sexy. If Santa, Santa looked Claus. that good, he'd make it to like maybe three houses <laughs> after getting blown so much. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be sleeping in a crib. He's staying, at, like, he's staying at John's mom's house. Ladies, <laughs> ladies, I had to, I'm still in North America. <laughs> like these kids need to. Joe Briggs says to uh, stop shaming Santa. Uh, Dave Morales says Jingle All the Way is a classic. Jingle All the Way is a classic. I agree. 
really love that movie. God, I feel so bad. I'm a movie person. All these you movies I haven't seen. See, Christmas movies are the fucking shit. I think I you could skip Jingle All the Way. Oh, I love it. Because that's, that's Sinbad and that. Arnold, right? Yeah, you could skip yeah. that one. Dude, Elf, come on now. That, well, yeah. of course, you know, Cleveland, the um, well, all Christmas right. story. But what, what is your go-to Christmas movie? Um, I guess those two. Yeah. Elf. I, yeah. I used to love Rudolph. I tried to get my kids to watch it in stop oh, motion. If it's that. not CGI, they are not impressed. They're not dude. impressed. Yeah. They don't like that shit. Yeah. Uh, I, I see. That's where I was lucky because my kids, because they like horror and creepy things, oh. they're like, "Oh, we'll watch this because it is unsettling." <laughs> yeah. yes. Like they enjoy the unsettling uh, animation of those. Uh, oh God! Bass well, they Christmas love Gumby because that shit was creepy. <laughs> <laughs> this year, I want to move past. I, I'm past. I want to get past the "Is Die Hard a Christmas Movie" discourse. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm skipping it. it. Yeah. I want to move on to "Is a Clockwork Orange a Christmas Movie" discourse. I've never actually seen that. Oh, what? Yeah, it's a Christmas movie. Okay, it is. Yeah, uh, for but it goes sure. through like. Like for more sure. time. I've only seen it like chopped up. Like yeah, no, it's definitely a Christmas movie. <laughs> now Vince is telling me on the chat that uh, the John Ham Santa commercials for the World Cup, and nobody is fat in soccer, but he's not playing soccer. He's just telling us about soccer. They should have got someone fat. Hmm. I just think yeah. it's better to. Ooh, have I think they should have got. Santa. They should have got that that fellow to play Santa that played uh, the, the, on the Sopranos guy. He's dead. Who James James Gano- James Olafini's dead. <laughs> Are you, you know. I, when did he die? He died like nine years ago. What? Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's been dead for a well, while. Well, I've seen him in, in, in your dreams. Oh, my God. <laughs> in he's old been episodes dead for of The nine Sopranos. Years. Or years. longer than that. Oh, right? my yeah. goodness. Yeah. Well, I haven't, you're right. I haven't seen him a lot of things lately. Because <laughs> a lot of lately. them now, like Polly Walnuts just died. Yep. And, um, oh yeah. yeah! I knew Polly Walnuts died. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't know Tony some, Soprano somebody died. Somebody else from there passed too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Junior just died. Yeah. 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 He, just died. Mm. he was so, so cute. Junior, Junior was great. Junior always had some. <laughs> yeah. Who? Oh, yes. Fine. This cunt. This, this cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he would fall. Did you watch the uh, the prequel, the All Saints of Newark or whatever? I haven't watched that yet. That I just saw and. Uh, What'd you think? It was okay, but I mean, to be a gangster movie, I get when people are like, no, nah, man, we're going to dig between the cracks. But it's like, dude, shoot people and be an asshole. Like, this right, is why we're watching that's gangster movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, don't don't get like, all. Like, you have time to do that on a series, like The Sopranos. Like, you can, you can build stuff up. Yeah, something that's episodic. If yeah. If it's a film, you got to get to the good stuff. And it's not even a long one. I think it's barely over 90 minutes, so you don't even get that, like, like you said, Scorsese type, yeah. like, build. They just get in it and they're like, and then it was, uh, and then Chris bought the and, and <laughs> There it is. Yeah. Like, I'll have to watch it just because. I, I only recently watched The Sopranos. I watched it during the pandemic. Really? And I loved it. And then, like, I tried starting it a few times and just never got into it, and then you know, during the pandemic, had nothing but time. The, so earl- the late 90s, early 2000s HBO, I was on it, man. <laughs> Chris well, Rock I show, well, yeah. fucking Sopranos, The Wire. When I was very that little, was I watched writing. Oz. Oh, Oz. <laughs> the first two young episodes young of that I thought was a fucking documentary because it was so many dicks. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm like, this can't be acting. <laughs> yeah. I learned a lot from that show. Like I get, well, It's a manual to survive prison. Or to not survive. <laughs> Fucking beat her, getting well, branded. No, right, but I know what not to do <laughs> if I go to prison. Dude, his character, Archie. James went. Candolfini died. Yeah. A wow. long time ago. Yeah. Um, when was it? <laughs> well, it's new for me, Tommy. Joe Briggs says, uh, in my religion, Santa is hot and has a dripping hog. So, oh, well, I was about to say, when you said John Hamm should be fat, that's the part where he like, no, he Santa, like pulls Santa it should up. be fat. Not, John Hamm should be hot. James uh, Gallifrey's been dead for nine years. Yeah, 2013. Wow, how'd that one get past me? I'm, I am far away. I should probably put my mic a little bit closer. He had a heart attack. There we go. He had a heart attack? Yeah. Well, uh, poor fellow. Big fella. guy. Yeah, he was a big guy. But he would have been a great Santa. Yeah. I think he, he would, would. Yeah, you know he what? might have played Santa. In you a know movie. what? But but I feel like James Gallifrey uh, lives on in the spirit of Christmas. Does he? Though? Right, guys. Yeah. Okay. I thought he was more of a quantity. He, he knew he was dead. He knew yeah. He, was dead. <laughs> he knew he was dead. Um, all right. So just to remind, if anybody's watching this and they want to share this, uh, that'd be great. We're trying to get more people to watch live. 
Uh, but let's get back to John talking about your comedy career. Uh, you started about six and a half years ago. What was like the first thing where you're like, okay, I can do this. Like I'm good. Like I'm like, you felt like you were on the right path. Well, partly what happened is like, I had this little midlife crisis. I'm in my thirties and I'm just like working shitty jobs. And I'm like, well, time goes by quick. So I started having this, I would rather do something and fail at it than just mm -hmm. be wondering what happened. But the other thing that happened is kind of what <laughs> what got me finally getting pussy when I was younger was you see other people doing it and somewhat succeeding and you're like, well, I can at least do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I saw, and like all these jobs I would have, I would just be like the funny person. And then I would just say shit. And people are like, where'd you hear that? And I'm like, I just thought of it. So mm -hmm. after a while, I was just like, well, I should try it. But yeah, just if watching. I, like if I'm the one thinking of this stuff, like that's, I'm right. already on the right path because. Or you ever have something happen, like you'll have a thought. You probably, you too, because you write, like you'll have a thought and you'll be like, oh shit, this is like funny. And then you'll hear a comedian say it just because it's parallel thinking. Yeah. And then you start being like, okay, well, I guess my mind goes there. So let's fucking see what happens. All then. the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. Well, and something that happens to me a lot is where you'll, you'll have those parallel thoughts and, you know, you're like working on it. And then you'll see, like, Jim Jeffries do it in a special. Yeah. And, like, you were working on it for two weeks. You're like, well, I'm glad I was only working on this for two weeks because he just did, like, a masterful version. Yeah. Because my version wasn't going anywhere. Like, it was the same idea, but he did it in a much better yeah, way. Yeah, and starts, like, extrapolating shit you didn't even, like, think yeah. about. And you're like, okay, I'll just take my ball and go back home. Well, that's one of the things that I like about your comedy is you do go in a very uh, – you, you go – in some cool directions and you you have a very unique voice uh when you're you're talking about especially the personal things where you talk about your son and stuff like yeah. that and of course that's a very uh personal topic for you but even just talking about like day-to-day -day stuff or just you know you you have a great point of view and you are that one that's stepping over the line and then looking back yeah and then you're yeah. able to tell you know talk about things that should be offensive or whatever but yeah. you do it with with that grace to make it palatable and funny that's that comic defense mechanism shit that whatever fucked us all up when we were younger and mm -hmm. got us funny that's yeah. <laughs> that's that just that quick like don't hit me <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> that's what a lot of that shit is man. what <laughs> so what fucked you up? <laughs> what got you there? Well, he's not in jail yet, so I can't give details. Okay. <laughs> no, no, uh, I don't know. Like, just uh, youngest, only boy, you know, uh, parents were divorced, you know, growing up in a shitty part of Cleveland, being bullied, just all, you know, all that good shit, you know yeah. what I mean? Some of it is, um, and then, you know how, like, you, you, st you don't realize how, unique certain shit is until you contrast it with other people and you talk oh, to other people absolutely when we when we finally moved out of the hood and i got around like suburban people and shit and just seeing how different people lived it was just like my household was was nice it wasn't bad but still just being used to but circumstances were still yeah being used to once different. a year somebody yeah. in your neighborhood getting their head blown off or shit like that you know yeah. what i mean just it just being common you know mm -hmm. guess who in jail guess who just died just you know what i mean right. and just internalizing that as that's just what my life is you know what i mean so um on all that kind of just shapes how, your world root and how the, old were you when you moved from uh, like to the suburbs like 15 14 15 okay so yeah you had a, you you're pretty Set in your ways at that point. Yeah, and and it was a split too, cause it came at a time where I was like getting in a lot, a lot of trouble and shit. So it it saved my life, in hindsight. But it was one one of the things I noticed. I always say this to comics: like, you could always tell like a comic or at least a decent comic by like, it's that switch that happened when you were younger. Either people who moved around a lot. Or a divorce, or but something that just flipped your world into a one eighty. Yeah, and that one eighty was like uh, what? Because that was the other thing. Once you go from being around like, like hood people and city people and like your own people, black people, and then get to being around like white people, you after a while you realize it's like it's about fifteen, maybe twenty. That's being generous personalities 
of anybody yeah. out there. Yeah. And that's the other thing that helps with comedy. After a while, like, you get in the room with somebody, and you're like, oh, you're the jock. You're the introvert. <laughs> you're the extrovert. You're the this. Well, but you start. You know how to read people. Yeah. Right? And, and that's that's a important thing. And, you know, my, my thing was being in this, like, this religious world and then being in a secular world. Yeah, kind exactly. Of that between 180. those two worlds, and you know, try like basically living separate lives. Like I was never like a bad kid, but like I had interests that weren't Jesus and yeah. church <laughs> and stuff like that. And those made me way happier than the Jesus stuff. So that conflict made me go, okay, well, how can I do this and still feel like I'm kind of doing what I'm supposed to do for church? And like, so like making people laugh was the thing, and also yeah. being like smaller getting bullied a lot like the, oh, the yeah. best defense was just to make them laugh and and so that's diffusing fights do. and shit yep people used to get in fight my friend who I came in here with Sean we man he's getting he's used to get in so many fights over like the dumbest shit just cuz we would just be walking and this is literally that what are you looking at shit you yeah. know what i mean just cuz he has a <clears throat> It's more of a meaner demeanor. Yeah. But on the opposite, I would get the shit because it's like, who the fuck is... I've always had this. Like, even yeah. when I was growing up in yeah. Cleveland, I've always been like, you obviously don't have brothers. <laughs> like, I've always had that vibe. Like, <laughs> like, like, like we should test them. Yeah. So we were we were polar opposites in that way, but it both brought that energy to right. us. Like, who the fuck is that? Like, uh, yeah. LJ Payne on the chat says... Uh, he is proud of you. Oh, <laughs> I love him, man. LJ is good. I'm yeah. proud of you, John. Do you though? I'm proud of you too. What for leaving <laughs> when you come over the house and try to <laughs> impregnate my mother? <laughs> I'm proud of you, John. <laughs> <laughs> She's been through menopause. You sick fuck. You can pull out, all right? <laughs> well, that's why I never mind. <laughs> I digress. Check um, your mailbox. Also, if you're watching on the live stream, throw us likes and. Again, share. We're trying. We got 16 viewers. We're yes. fucking killing it now. Yes. We, get, it we get views after it publishes, but it's just, I'm trying to get people to watch while it's live. Like, I think oh, we cool. they'll, they'll come. If you build it, they'll come. Mm -hmm. Just like That's AJ true. makes your mom come. No, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> There's only one person coming in that room. This is what, <laughs> this is, this is what your mom's vagina says. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! All our viewers are gone. <laughs> um, oh. So, so you're you're headlining for the first time. You've headlined other shit before. Yeah, like uh, little, like is, independent stuff. You explain know? to people why this is such a big deal to headline hilarities. Because so it's it a, is a big yeah, deal. Yeah, it's a big deal because um, for one is, I mean, I always say improv hilarities are like Coke and Pepsi for Cleveland. Yeah, improv is like the black club. Hilarities. I'd say more mainstream because they do have more black acts that come yeah. through, but by default, like the white club. But it's <laughs> like, it's one of the best clubs in the country. And you know how, like Cleveland, we we blow ourselves and we we're the best this or oh, that. Yeah, but yeah. but when people, you can tell just when people come from out of town and everybody's like, wow, I really like this club. And I love I'll, I love when someone comes to town for the first time, and they don't know what to expect getting into hilarities, and then they have that first moment where they can yeah. talk to you and they go. What the fuck is this? Yeah. I was not expecting this. I had that with uh, Craig Robinson. It was oh, right. Yeah. It was right before he filmed uh, Pineapple Express, and he was here headlining a weekend. And I was working with him, and he, we're, we're sitting in, and talking. He's like, "Man, I I got booked here kind of last minute," and I'm like, "Cleveland, this is gonna be." Yeah. Shitty. Yeah. He was, he was like, I thought this was gonna be like a strip mall club and stuff like that. And he's like, "I got here." And I went shopping right away because he's like uh, the clothes I had. I'm like I don't feel right being in this building yeah. with what I was gonna. He's like I was gonna wear like tennis shoes and, and uh, sweatpants on stage and I was like, the nah, high I gotta, behind the I keyboard. Got, yeah. so he's like, and it's like I, I, oh, there's no stores around here, so I had to go to Payless. Yeah. But he's still like at least clean it up, clean it up bit. a little bit, and he was very impressed with it. And yeah, uh, that was Cleveland really surprises weekend. people like that. Uh, just because I guess. Either, like, even bartending downtown, I, I bartend where it's a lot of, like, out-of-town people come. Yeah. And it's either the river is still on fire or, like, <laughs> they equate yeah. us with Ohio. So especially, yeah. like, like East Coast, West Coast people come in. It's like they think we're chewing on corn or some shit. Mm -hmm. Like, and, and Cleveland people, we're so... I had a lady come in and she was talking about Amish people. Like, is it weird about... I'm like, honestly, we don't even think about that. 
Like, yeah, there's yeah. so many people in we Cleveland who never Amish even seen people the same an Amish way you person. Yeah. <laughs> like, exactly. Like, I mean, I'll see Amish people when I'm driving south, but, like, even then, I have to almost go out of my way to see them. It's like it's as much as not. people in fucking Brooklyn, New York, think about fucking Niagara Falls. Yeah. <laughs> like, right. like, they don't... It's the same state, but they don't... They're not even thinking about this shit. Right. But, no, the hilarities thing is, is a super big deal, too, because... Like, speaking of time, like, six and a half years is fairly quick to be able to do a club like that. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, so, I I don't know. I turn over a lot of material. I've been, like, in Sam's ear, the guy at Hilarities who mm-hmm. books it. I've been just telling him, I'm like, look, just give me a-. And on top of that, too, I've been lucky. Like, when you, as comics, when we get to do, like, MC spots, like, yeah. you're lucky to do that. But sometimes... You can only go up every now and then. Yeah. But I had a few good sets in my pocket that I would do good to the point to where I'm like, Sam, could be up, either bump me up or do something, cause you're you're, you're making it hard on the other. You're making else, me, yeah. you, uh, and yeah. and trust me, these yeah. aren't very cerebral jokes. I'm just yeah. saying, right. dick suck, dick suck, white black, white black. But but it works. And I was. There's just, the name of your album. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't give it away. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so that that's that's that made it a big deal too, just in in the amount of time. Now I don't know what'll come of this. I don't I don't, I understand. You know, Ed McMahon, Ed McMahon is uh, outside the door with like the, a huge check. check. But <laughs> it's a it's just a cool accomplishment, and it, it feels, you know, it's it's a big deal. And we're, you know, and and I like seeing all the comics in Cleveland rallying behind you and being so proud it's yeah it's, that's that's, cool that's been fun yeah and I, it's hard to respond to that energy because it you, is because you want it but I don't, I don't know how to live in that so right I'm like proud you, of you john fuck you <laughs> go, go back to the fucking my mama jokes I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 no i'm like so proud of you john i'm like unbelievably you proud. Make, <laughs> this this, you make it this version of i'm proud of you Makes me feel like I'm watching the Polar Express. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, yeah. no, but like John, like, Turn I'm off. super, Turn super off. duper proud of you. Oh, like it's God. insane how proud of you I am, really. Co- For true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I run into you on the way to the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fight Club style with the fucking, <laughs> with the yellow dish gloves on. I'm going to finish her off. Um, <laughs> now you got kids too. You mentioned that yeah, um, two girls and uh, my son. And your son and uh, your son is autistic. Yeah, you talk about that in your act a little bit, but uh, you know those are jokes. Like well, that's kind of one of the things that we bond over. And it's not that I'm comparing autistic people to trans, but it's just it's like a, it's understanding a lack of people who yeah. know this 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 life. Yeah, that. On the surface to other people, it's just like anything else because everybody's going through something. But when you're in it, it's yeah. like, dude, this is a world, man. Yeah. And, and the and the amount of just misinformation and misinformation, anxiety, mental stress, the yeah. amount of just concern you have for this individual trying to modulate all these thoughts while loving this yeah. person and while them being a human and being an asshole every now and then. Right. You know what I mean? Like it makes it So really it's 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 a whole thing, man. It's a it's a whole I used to didn't talk about it at all just because I didn't I didn't well, know how. It, it takes a while to get to that level where you yeah. can yeah. talk about those deeper things. And that's you know, when I first started everything was like fat jokes and I can't get girls. Like yeah. that's, those were all my jokes. And then as I got better I was able to delve into my experience with religion and I was able to talk about raising my stepkids and then get even deeper with that. Yeah. And it's that's when you like people don't always think of uh, when it comes to comedy, you're not always proudest of your funniest joke, the joke that gets the biggest laugh. Oh, yeah. It's, it's but you're the... proudest of the one that like. This, you veer off course and you start going in the corners of shit. I, I I I made something that is not palatable, palatable and funny and relatable, and that's that's when I feel like a very good comedian. Yeah, and you do a very good job of that. Oh, talking thanks, about your yeah. son. <laughs> now I gotta be funny on Friday. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> well, if these seventeen people show up, then <laughs> you'll be just fine. They'll be ten minutes in. <laughs> Get to the retard jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh uh, man, yeah. I, I, plus, how did that go down? Like, like, because he's in that age where because he's what twenty now, twenty one. Twenty one. Yeah. So 
they were still figuring out how to diagnose. When he got diagnosed back in what was this? Uh, oh four five. Yeah. Uh, like, I my extent of it was Rain Man. It it was yeah. still pretty rare then. You know what I mean? Like, and then like, and then it just it's a mind fuck on so many levels because it's it's not like cancer or you know AIDS or something where so they they do a blood test or something like that. No, he was just about to be three. Okay, just about to be three. Okay, just about to be three. So yeah, oh four. Yeah, because he was born yeah. in two thousand one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it was it was just so weird, and it's just just based on behavior. And then also too, I tell this story like when I get you go to get him tested, and it's just they observe him, mm. and he was like normal and hitting all his milestones, doing shit early. He was walking yeah. before he was one, and but he never talked. Which yeah. was all right, but because you know how like your <laughs> mother's all right. yes. no, you know how like precisely you know yeah. how people in your family are always like so and so didn't talk to they were blah blah blah. Yeah. I but, didn't say yeah. a word till I was twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed silent that entire time. <laughs> And then the thoughts well, that were going on in your brain, just the acid trip that you I couldn't mean, put it, to paper it was, yet. It was remarkable. I was just, I, the, and the only thing that I would ever say was, the only thing I would ever say is I knew uh, from start to finish the entire script of the Polar Express. Of course you did. <laughs> were you like Shia LaBeouf in Transformers 2 where he just like shakes and writes yeah. shit on the wall? Like, <laughs> writing shakes. I want to congratulate you on the first per- being the first person that's ever uh, used... Transformers 2 is a way to <laughs> describe, describe anything, anything ever. Sam Wick Wicky. <laughs> <laughs> so he's the good th- ones before Mark Wahlberg yeah. fucked it up. <laughs> uh, so he's three years old and gets diagnosed. And then, like, what's that, that process like of just kind of... Dude, it was... Like, I, learning I, how to... I went through, open. like... Some of those years are, like, a blur now because it was... I didn't realize how, like, depressed I was. Mm-hmm. And then... Just because you just... And that's the other thing. You go through so many thoughts because I didn't, I didn't want to feel sorry for my son. It's not that you want that, yeah. you know what I mean? But there is a sorrow there, and then there's a hope, like maybe something, we we you know, we can do something about it. And then like I was still with his mom at the time, and we um, had a few philosophical differences of how to approach it, and like, um, and then I went through all this snake oil shit of like, do this and do that, and this will do this. And I, I wasted so much money on all these little. But I also learned a lot too because there there were some of the kooky things that ended up being true. I was the first person who did a gluten free diet that I knew because it, it's something that they do to this day with people with autism: gluten free or casein free diets. Casein's a milk protein, mm-hmm. but people who have that for whatever reason. When you regulate their diet like that, cognitively, they get a little better and just mood that's, and shit like that. That's so, really interesting. That yeah, that so that's when I learned it. a lot about that. But it's it gets you get so into pseudoscience shit too that that because you don't know what to believe. For whatever you can, right? To find so it took answers. me a it took me a while to like kind of like oh, okay that's bullshit but then years later it's like oh well okay that helps but so it was just so much of that me trying to and then you realizing psychologically that as human beings when we're not in control we feel out of control so we want to and i that really got brought home with the pandemic mm-hmm. when all these people were doing cuz i was on that anti-vax shit for a while yeah and even to this day i i i don't think vaccines like cause something but i do think with certain, me- it's like penicillin. You can't yeah. just give penicillin to everybody. I don't think it. Well, did there, so- if if you, I mean, substances are going to react with other substances. Right. I don't. And I'm still listeners. I'm not going down a road. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying was one of the things is that his kid has autism because of vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> so don't get the Where's COVID. The no, I, I'm I'm vaccinated. I got the COVID vaccine yeah. and all that shit. But um. But when that's you got COVID more than anybody I ever met ever. Dude, I was a petri dish. Dude, <laughs> I got COVID every two weeks. John's like, I got no, COVID just like again. three times. It wasn't yeah. that bad. I just <laughs> yeah, but it was. But when that happened and the way people were reacting, and I started revisiting those feelings of psychologically, when human beings are out of control, you you kind of come up with something because your mind needs to. Feel like it's in control it somehow. The ground somehow. So yeah. so you start lining yourself. You start creating these scenarios, and you know what I mean. So it took me a while to reach an equilibrium of you know let's do this. So this works. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. And and on top That's of really that, an interesting point. I don't, I don't want to 
go past, but it is when you are out of control. And, and I think everyone in here, for the most part, has had like their manic states where you are. Well, he idols. <laughs> AJ just kind of idols. Yeah. It's kind of, that's kind of my baseline. <laughs> but like, like you know, wakes you're, up you're, Ted Bundy. You're looking for that thing, like you're saying, you're looking for that piece or whatever, yeah. or whatever, and and it starts pushing you in various directions, and that's you know for depression too. It's the same thing, and that's it. Why literally I, felt like I had something on my chest for like at least. Five years? Yeah. You know that feeling like if somebody dies or if you were in a really bad breakup, not to yeah. compare autism to that. That's the only <laughs> thing I could, that's the only thing my brain could compare it to. Just when yeah. your physical state on a daily basis is just off. It yeah. feels like something's on your chest. And yeah. it took a long time for me to get to a. And and then you go to those dark places yeah. and, and that's, you know, always. And then the relationship with the mom doesn't work and then you yeah. don't see him even more. And yeah. then, yeah. 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 So, yeah. Well. It sounds like it's gotten to a, a healthier place now, and uh, yeah, and then and again, time and again and... it gives you perspective for comedy because you've been through so much stuff, and it's not just like oh, I'm the you know black white dick suck dick suck like it, your comedy <laughs> black, really white, is black, not black, that white, dick suck dick suck yeah. <laughs> retard. <no. laughs> Give us some other words. Yeah. What do they call the Jews? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Delightful. Yeah. I, I find that they're doing a great job. No, I should. They run every. I'm just, yeah. I, okay. I, see, I was insinuating, then you take it too far. Like I, was, I just said, they're doing. Uh, a great job. Let's get back to the slow black people. Yes. <laughs> anyway. No, it's uh, it's so weird too. Like the stuff that's natural for him, that mm -hmm. that just every like boy does or man at this point, yeah. and then the stuff the stuff that he gets and the stuff that he doesn't get is, and it's not even that he doesn't get it. But one of the things I tell people is kind of like talking to somebody who had a stroke. Like they're processing it, but it coming back out to you is <laughs> it's difficult. <laughs> it's gonna yeah. be a thing. Like they, he can read, he can write. You yeah. know what I mean? But like, can you drive? Um, I don't know, can he? I don't know. I, I, have you ever like, put like, him behind a wheel? I never wanted to find out. I was like, <laughs> super bad. Can I shoot it? I don't know, can you? <laughs> <laughs> Go toss him the keys. <laughs> Take me home. Uh, honestly, he probably could because every he he learned how to ride a bike really quick, like quicker than um, average, as you would say. So all that right brain shit, all the concrete shit, music, mm -hmm. you know, anything visual and stuff like that. But the abstract... You know what I mean? Yeah. That theory of mind shit. You know what I mean? All that. That's, that's a little where, more difficult. Yeah. And even then, like I said, it could be in there, but it's hard to get out because yeah. he he talks, but he doesn't. It's not like a back and forth like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sometimes uh, he has a word thing where we could type stuff out, but we don't consistently use it enough. But I use my phone, so if he's kind of getting manic or something like that, I'll like type something and then he'll type it back. I'm like, cool. Nice. And I've been slipping them gummies here and there. <laughs> Please, Mom, don't be watching this. She's so against weed. She's like, you just want to get him high. I'm like, dude, I no, I, I want sure. his liver to last. Like, because yeah. he's got to take medication now. And it's yeah. just like. Does that, do you see effects when that happens? Like, does it. I, I, I don't want to say strongly. F I mean, One way in, other, in his but... last couple of years, he's, is, he's definitely had some. Um, behavioral issues and some mm -hmm. manic issues and meltdowns and stuff but dude that pandemic man that's it was tough mm -hmm. on everybody but with that situation that's got an individual who Oof. needs routine yeah, yeah <laughs> like, all taken away oh yeah. my god and then other things happened in the background uh mm -hmm. too that uh just kind of changed his his home dynamic a little bit so yeah, yeah uh, i'm sure that wore on him so that hasn't been good but we're at the point now to where you can't just take the medicine and then, you know, throw a blunt in his mouth and then hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It works with me, though, so <laughs> We're going to Christie's. Try, uh, try not to freak out. Yeah, yeah that's that's crazy. I appreciate you uh, opening up about that because it's not the easiest thing to talk about either because there's, a, you know, it it's a lot of mixed emotions. Yeah. You know, as much as you are proud and everything, like, there's a lot of struggle that goes along with it, too. Yeah. I, it's, it's, I was just telling somebody, it's literally like – Taking your heart, but well, this is like having all kids, but it's like taking your heart and like leaving it over on East Fourth, and then all right, I'm about to do a show, and and just 
nobody touch that vulnerable beating heart that's just sitting yeah. there on the table. You know what I mean? I, I'll be right back. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Just hoping for the best. It's like that. It's really weird. And then how are the other kids? They're good? They, yeah, they're, the they're girls. a piece of cake compared to him. It, well, <laughs> my girls are, like, they're becoming teenagers, 11 and 13 now. And that's a whole, like, <laughs> different thing. It's it, But I'm lucky because they're still, like, kids. Like, yeah. I was, I was. See, my kids want to. I was fast when I was yeah. that age. My older daughters, so the, the, the my oldest daughter, my second, and my middle kid, like they were very close in age. I think they're a year apart in school or two years, but they knew yeah. everybody. Yeah, yeah. And so it was always like them competing with each other, and that yeah. made them both grow up way too fast. And you're just like, guys, like just be little kids, and that that just was not. My mom so had some tough. Uh, Teenage years with the yeah. kids. Well, I'm lucky. They're still they're still like kids. They're still yeah. like girly and stuff like that. But I mean, one of the things you learn with your kids, even when they are in that innocence, like they'll do just the littlest thing, and you can realize like they're aware of the world. Like, yeah. like I'll say like certain shit. And I like I asked. I was like, uh, do y'all think about school shootings? And she's like, eh, not really. <laughs> like, don't you see it on TV? Yeah, but because yeah. because what are they supposed to do? Exactly. Like exactly. You can't, but then I started thinking back to when I was younger and when I knew, you know, people I've been yeah. shot at, people I've known have been killed, and like I didn't think about it. That was one of the things that I didn't think about until I got out of that environment. And then yeah. I was like, wow, it's not, it's not normal to lose somebody every year. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But they're they're good. They're good. It's uh, I definitely don't want any more kids. It's like, <laughs> and and no, not in a bad way, but it's no. There's nothing wrong. You got three kids. There's, I don't think anyone's gonna be like this motherfucker. <laughs> you better have more kids. I mean, you, well, part of it too is like I try to be positive, but the way I mean, we're talking about voting. Like the way the world is, I I I legitimately get anxiety about just how the existence. world is now. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it's it it really fucks me up, and when people. Are on especially that that heavy like that John and Kate like those people who just like oh no like why 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 are you yeah that many kids is what was insane. the com it was some comic who was like we did we're successful species we don't have to yeah. like, like we cracked we over seven billion <laughs> yeah like, dude we just hit eight billion oh fuck yeah we just hit eight billion yeah. it is well the good news is people. they said we will like uh, stabilize once we get between like uh, nine and eleven or nine and twelve. But um, fortunately, yeah, but that's, still, that's still a lot. That's too many people. Well, yeah. Fortunately, the, the environmental degradations will kill us before that happens. So. <laughs> Dude, the Mississippi River is drying up. Have you seen that shit? Did, I was just looking at the lake on Monday, and I've never seen it as low as it is right now. I was I was telling somebody that like the way the pier comes out, and mm-hmm. even that one part on the other side, I didn't even know that <laughs> layer of rocks was there. Right on the other side, yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and the, yeah. Oh well. Uh, so nine thirty on Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> the world's ending, but you can laugh your way to the end yes. with John Armstrong at Hilarities this Friday, uh, ten nine thirty nine thirty. You can get tickets at hilarities dot com. Uh, what are you on social? Just John Armstrong comedy. John Armstrong comedy on Instagram. John Armstrong on Facebook, and I don't. I have a TikTok that I have not started because I haven't put up videos, but that's that'll be coming soon. And I don't have a Twitter, and I'm glad I don't have a Twitter because <laughs> how Twitter is doing. I now. tagged a Twitter account. It's your Twitter account. It's just really it's, the last tweet was from 2017. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. yeah. Like, that was my girlfriend wanted me to sign up and yeah. me being like, yeah, and then something happened. And I threw the phone, and, <laughs> and there you go. Some uh, some dude has yeah. I see. I Twitter is a mess right now because Elon Musk just bought it, but. Yeah. I like Twitter because I like just running out like the little tweets, but then also you get real porn on Twitter. I yeah, a, Twitter's great. A friend of mine showed me that. Like in my mind, Twitter was because I only I only see shit on Instagram like yeah. a tweet. So in my mind, Twitter was just a constant scroll of that. And then a friend it of mine, ha- <laughs> a friend of mine had showed me their Twitter, and it was like I'm like they. You can see pussy on Twitter, oh, like yeah, oh yeah, you could show your. You pussy can't even, on Twitter you too. can't even draw right. fucking sure titties can. on Facebook, like. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Twitter, you can get away with a lot on Twitter. Yeah, which is, uh, yeah, I don't need another avenue to watch <laughs> porn through, dude. Oh God, that's another thing. <laughs> you think you would 
Jack off less in your 40s. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God, dude. I'm putting up 16-year-old numbers, dude. <laughs> I'm still late to work What's sometimes because I have to come again. <laughs> What's your go-to? Um, oh, oh, oh. I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. My go-to is the, the two type of women I've been fucking. Either Pogs or, like, um, like... Like not not like not like hood rap, but kind of like <laughs> just 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 very sassy big booty black women. All right. The, the lashes one. and the spit. Let me let yeah. me let me know oh, if you're God, into this yeah. one. Uh, a dude sitting in a car in like a public place. They're, these are all set up, but they're yeah, they're yeah, made yeah. to look. And he'll be like in a car, and it'll just be like Jack and his dick, and then like a girl walks by, and she's like, "You're so." Gross, and he's like, "Am I?" And then she's like, "It's actually a pretty big dick." And she just like starts taking her titties out and sucking his dick. I gotta go like, to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know John what? and I have to go to the bathroom. I, I don't. I'm actually gonna look that up. So I've been. It's it's just so absurd. I like the ones like when the ones I I watch that are close to that. They're already in the car. So like yeah. she's giving him a ride somewhere. Yeah. And then he just pulls his dick out and she's like, "Why would you do that?" And then while driving, she yeah. starts giving them the handy and then they pull over. And yeah. Then, yeah, but I, I I love that. Yeah, that's a yeah. It's a. Uh, because it's so never... absurd. But yeah. it's like like that's what that's like when guys. Like our version of romance, like girls, you want like flowers and to be taken you, care you of. No, you like, want it. <laughs> we want like our version of romance is just uh, being so enticing to a woman that while she's on her way to work, she's like, "But let me suck your dick real quick." Like that's yes. yeah. Oh god. Oh like, god. I don't know you. I just but I need the that. spontaneity of it yeah. and, and the yeah. fact that it's gross for like everybody, but but me in yeah. my 2003 Toyota Corolla in, in the Metro Parks at 8:05 in the morning. My check like, engine lights on. <laughs> it actually is. Too. <laughs> Oh shit! Am I that predictable? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, the board's gonna start lighting up with all the women. At, at we we, we got a, a dick, woman yeah. weighing in. Uh, Samantha says she used to like massage porn, and uh, I, a woman who actually likes the massage that leads into sex. Yeah. Huh. Oh my! You're Wait, one of the Is Samantha. she getting the massage? Yeah, we need more information here, Samantha. Is that a woman getting massage and then it turns into sex? Or is the woman giving the massage and it's turning into sex? Uh, so let us know, Samantha. We are curious. Do you do you like the? Hey, I just want to give you a back. Yeah, no, I. Most women I go hate to, that. Like ten minutes max, no story, just get to it. That's you just want, I the, want. The, mm-hmm. the the banging. Unless it's hentai, yeah, then I want a story. Just a good. just a lady, just a dude lady. or two, mm-hmm. and a couch. That's all I need. And maybe the Honda. Uh, the the Toyota Corolla with two hundred thirty thousand miles. Tommy on. Tommy likes the woman getting the massages. What Samantha said. Oh, okay. Ta- Tommy Final likes line. the hentai stuff. Oh yeah. What yeah. I've is that all the ropes it. and shit Japanese? No, no, that's uh, shibari. Okay. <laughs> no, no, um, anime porn basically. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, are you into like the tentacles and stuff, yeah. or is it okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Wow. Walk us through a scene. Just. Get to it. It's always a monster. Always a like. Um, so it's a girl. Yeah. Falling for a monster. No. Okay. No, well, it's usually what... like because every hentai. I've never watched the monster hentai. I've like watched more like like story traditional. From, yeah. yeah. Hold on. Explain <laughs> this though. Wait, a monster? Mm-hmm. Like, he comes un- over with a pizza. <laughs> He's yeah. like, knock, knock, I got your slot. Knock, knock, it's just this fucking octopus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you open the pizza box and the uh, tentacles in there. <laughs> just Sometimes, just yes. So there's some, some weird, weird shit. Like there's some, there's wow. some weird shit, well, yeah. That, that sounds healthy. Uh, <laughs> and then, <laughs> it's not sanitary. Right. That's, all right, so, but what's, how, how, did the, how does the monster and the woman get together? It's usually, um... Against her will. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So it That's, starts a little. It's yeah, it's, for sure. But then it's like. But then she gets into it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which is I stop yeah, feeling thing, like yeah. uh like weird about porn every time I talk to women. And you everybody. start feeling. No, weird? I stopped feeling oh. weird about like my porn consumption when I started talking to women. And, Do we watch and, weirder shit than you? 
All you the time. You watch more shit than all of us. All the time. Not, you watch Tommy is like the one to talk. She's just like, yeah, I like a tentacle monster yeah. dressed like Hitler. I didn't <laughs> say anything about Hitler, please. Even like the please. nicest girls I've known, like like gangbang shit, yes, bukkake yeah, shit, yeah. like yeah. and and raunchy and, and to the point. And, mm-hmm. and but the thing that's fucked up about us is guys like to the point of like you should be enticed by us, like like if we. Uh, I've had this. If I do something like, like if you get like too much like combing her hair or something like, and then she starts freaking out, and then that part of my brain says, "We just watched a hundred dudes come on a girl, and I've never seen you get so wet, and I get a little bit in your hair, and you're ready to break up with me." Like, I want to be one of them dudes in that line, you fucking bitch. (laughs) Preferably first. But yeah, I, you will you will never outdo a woman's porn. You, I kudos to y'all because yeah, we're we're so simple. We're like, what if it's too? I, I'm usually <laughs> disgusted with myself afterwards. Though. No, I'm not. That, I, I'm no, not I am. Hey, it's hey, hey, like hey, a, don't think we're not disgusted. No, no, yeah. <laughs> That's how you know. It's Jerking good porn. off to chubby white girls getting banged, dropping in bombs. It's like, oh. like. <laughs> like <laughs> She does. She doesn't do the ER. She's she's one of those ghetto. Uh, John and I watch Newport the same smokers. porn. <laughs> one of those Newport smoking white bitches with the Karen Bob going, oh. and she's got her T-shirt on because her fupa's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom of her feet are a little too dirty. Oh. <laughs> the cat in the background. Oh yeah, it has to be amateur porn. I don't. Yeah, I, yeah. That's another thing. Being forty three, I don't want polished sex. I want the titties to, <laughs> to part ways when she's yeah. on her back. It's oh a, my god. Patrice O'Neill called it. He he wants the lasagna. Oh. <laughs> he wants the lasagna. Like that's, that's into that. oh. Uh, All right. Well, uh, see John this uh, Friday at Hilarities, 9.30 p.m. 9:30. You can get tickets at hilarities.com. Uh, check him out on social media, on uh, Instagram and Facebook, John Armstrong Comedy and John Armstrong on Facebook, and uh, at Tommy LC. And... Uh, then Aww, we, yeah. they and then want to be got, on TV. Where, where's yeah, your sign? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, and uh, uh, we had people waving at us. Yeah. <laughs> they would not stop. And Samantha, with a nice f- final thought here, uh, post-nut clarity exists for women, too. Oh, yeah. So, for mm, sure. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys for checking this out. Uh, my special is coming out on this YouTube channel on September, not September, on November 22nd. I'm like, wow. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you work ahead. So let's uh, make sure everybody watches that. The trailer's up now. And... Uh, See you guys next week. Bye. We did it. We did it. Another one of the books.